Hey you guys, it's Kayla with The Celebration Company and today I want to make a super simple but really cute little Christmas gift, okay? So a few days ago we made um, some little pumpkins out of Jenga blocks and it kind of inspired me to make um, some presents out of Jenga blocks. So that's what we're going to do today. It's going to be super simple. Um, you could also use for this project uh, Dollar Tree also has these, which would totally work as well, but something like this a little bit harder to come by, I feel like. Okay, so instead of using these, because they are a little harder to come by, also what we are going to make is going to be even smaller than what this little cube would be. So we're going to use Jenga blocks, and then we're going to use the little cubes that you can find in the craft section at Dollar Tree. So I have eight Jenga blocks and I have four of the little cubes, okay? And the way that we're going to assemble this is I'm gonna start by taking one Jenga block and I'm going to glue a little cube to the bottom of it. All right, so I'm just gonna glue a little cube here at the bottom. And then I'm gonna glue another one right next to it. Just like this. Okay. Then I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna do that again to the top side of the Jenga block. So we have this right here, and I'm hoping this will work because I'm noticing this side's a little bit shorter for some reason. I don't know why that is. All right, so then we're gonna take our another Jenga block and we're just gonna put it right here, okay? So I'm gonna put a little hot glue on the top of both of those little cubes and then just stick a Jenga block right on top of those. Okay. The next thing is pretty simple. We're gonna take three Jenga blocks and we're just gonna line them up just like that. Okay, just line them up flat across what we've already made. So I'm just gonna take some hot glue, just put it all the way around, and then I'm just gonna glue my little Jenga blocks onto it. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the back side. All right, glue those down. And this is the start of our gift, okay? So it looks like that on the inside, all right? Looks like this on the outside, okay? So now all we're gonna do is just paint this whole thing and I'm just using some Hello Hobby chalk paint in Ruby. This is from Walmart. You could do whatever you want though with this. This is where you can just explore your creativity and just go crazy with anything. All right. Have fun with it. You want to be sure to coat the top and the bottom just so that it looks good wherever it's sitting. If you've got it in like a tiered tray and you've got a few of these just kind of laying around inside that tiered tray, then you're probably going to want the um, top and the bottom painted, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna dry this real quick. All 
Okay, you guys, so here's what this looks like. All right, we just have a nice little red log. But here's the fun thing about this is that we can do whatever we want to this, okay? Because it's wrapping paper. So you could do anything. And what I'm going to do is just do some polka dots on here, just some little dots, all right? So I'm just gonna use some white paint on the end of a brush and I'm just gonna make little um, dots just kind of all over this little pumpkin. So I just stick my um, paintbrush, the end of it into my white paint and I'm just kind of swirling it around a little bit. All right, now we have a cute little polka dot gift. And what we're going to do is I have some little squares, okay? Just some little flat squares. I got these from Dollar Tree. It's been a while. Um, I actually got them in a package that I found in the craft section. I just happened upon it. I have not ever seen it since but it was just a package of all these different scrap wood pieces. And these were in it. So what I'm gonna do is, and it's just a little bitty piece. You could, if you couldn't find this, then you could use um, a piece of cardstock or something like that. I'm just gonna lop off the corners with my um, little pliers, okay? To make a little tag. All right, so I'm just lopping off the corner. So now I have a cute little tag and that's just gonna go on here. And then I'm just gonna take some ribbon and I think I'm gonna use the bigger ribbon and I'm just gonna wrap this up just like I would a Christmas present. So I'm gonna start by just taking my ribbon and putting it on the top, bring it around the bottom and then I'm just going to crisscross it and bring it back up to the top. And then I'm gonna tie it into a knot. I'm trying to keep it nice and tight. So, got it in a knot, okay. Then, I'm gonna take some more. I've got some more in here. I've just gotta find it. Here we go. Okay, so this one's a little bit different, but it'll be all right. So, I'm gonna take um, some more ribbon and I'm just gonna make a regular bow. Since this is so big, um, I think I can do just a regular bow. cute little bow here.
I'm gonna grab my scissors and cut the ends and I just want I'm gonna cut them um, instead of just at an angle I'm gonna cut the V out of them and I'm gonna do the same thing on this one here But I'm leaving this on because I think it'll just add to the look of it. So I've got just a simple little bow here, okay? And I'm just gonna hot glue this right to the top. And I, I lined it up to where it was kind of going opposite from the little tails that were already on here, okay? All right, so then you could write something on this little tag if you want to, whatever you wanna do, but because uh, I'm not in love with my handwriting skills, I'm not gonna write anything but I'm just gonna literally just hot glue this right on here so that we've got just a little tag hanging off. And that is our cute little gift. Look how precious that is. So easy, so quick and simple. Y'all, this would be an adorable ornament. You could totally hang this use some um if you wanted to make it into an ornament what you could do is just take some uh baker's twine and just before you tie it just put some baker's twine underneath your ribbon here so that you've got a loop coming up here on the top if you tie it to the back it's just going to hang down like this so you definitely want it on the top um so you can do that or this would be adorable inside your tiered tray it would be cute if you have a little truck to put some of these inside a little truck, or if you have maybe a sleigh um, laying around that you use for Christmas, make a bunch of these and fill up your sleigh. That would be super cute. Um, lots of fun and cute ideas that you could do with this, but I love how this looks. I love how this turned out. Like I said, I mean, you could do a bunch of them and have them all different little patterns. You could not do the polka dots. I just thought it would be fun to kind of add a little something extra to it. So super simple and this is so darn cute. It's adorable y'all, so cute. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this simple little craft and you guys have a fabulous day. See you later, bye.